Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely and I am at Wabash City Park in Wabash, Indiana on hole number 10 and this is my favorite hole on the course. Now the reason I like this hole is this course is filled with a bunch of fantastic holes but it, it's a recreational park. It's a great park to bring families out. New players are definitely going to love it. When you have shorter holes, to make them challenging at a pro level, they need to offer risk. Without risk, you're just throwing it the basket. And this hole offers risk. It's 220 feet down a tunnel. Pretty routine shot to get up to the basket. However, if you mess up, you can take a 15 on this hole. Okay, I'm totally exaggerating. You're not gonna take a 15, but you can take a 14 for sure. The basket is situated in a place that offers the potential of a blow up. Now, in my opinion, for these types of holes to be good, they have to offer the option of playing it safe. I have a pet peeve against island holes where if you miss the island, you have to re-tee. The wind picks up a little bit. We watch our friends take 20s. That's, I, I don't enjoy that at all. I don't like watching train wrecks. You could get a train wreck here, but that person knew the whole time they could have thrown to the base of the hill, they could have laid up, they could have taken their par and moved along. So that means it's your own damn fault if you take a 14. So I'm gonna throw the hole. Of course, it's a perfect bow bab from AGL shot and we'll see how it goes. All right, we'll see if I got a putt. Okay, so the tee pad is back there behind me, but I'm gonna turn on and show you where the basket is. And I don't think this is gonna do it justice on video. But down there is a ravine of death. This is like, I mean, I don't know. It's probably the biggest canyon in all of Indiana. Uh, it's definitely bigger than any canyon in Florida, that's for sure. And you travel down to the base of the hill. And if you can see, you have to clear it out of bounds, which the eight out of every nine shots that clear it doesn't even seem in play, except when it is. So I'm gonna go see if I can find my lie, and then I'm gonna have to get back up the hill, past the stairs, to the basket at the edge of the hill, uh, and we'll, uh, well, we'll see what happens. All right, so here's my lie. And I gotta get up the hole to that basket. Um, it's actually not going to be too tough, but the thing about the basket is it's close enough to the edge that if you throw your approach shot, well, obviously too short, you hit the hill, might roll back down, maybe out of bounds. But if you play too conservative and throw your approach shot too far past the basket, then you got a comeback putt looking at death. It's a thinking hole. It's fantastic. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and grab my, the Berg, of course my putter and we'll see how this goes. And sorry, no tripod, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so that's gonna be an easy three. I am not gonna be upset about that. I'm gonna run up the stairs, cause I'm not 51 years old. And if you see me breathing heavy, that's just because of some other reason. But not my age, that's for sure. That's my shot. Easy three, so tee pad back through the tunnel over the canyon of death. Hole 10, my favorite hole in the course. Uh, if you wanna see more of the favorite holes, make sure you subscribe to Basinger Disc Golf, or not or, and my page, and we'll update you every time these uh, favorite hole videos come out. Thanks guys.